sunny afternoon here in uh, East Gippsland, Victoria. Steve Morgan here with my Costas on for the first round of the 2019 Costa Brim Series. These guys have stepped up again and sponsored Australia's premier boater, non-boater fishing circuit. And it's starting here with this event at the Bem River and at Marlow in East Gippsland. And this weekend, we're headed to the Gippsland Lake. So we're getting the first two events out of the road in one week in an epic road trip in one of the best places in Australia to catch brim. So we're here at the briefing now. The event starts tomorrow. Let's talk about some, to some of the guys that are competing this event about what they think is gonna happen. Uh, so I've won two as an on-boater now. Um, two years running, one at Mallacoota at my home uh, venue and one at Gippsland Lakes last year. Uh, always more of a challenge, sort of any time you got to be your captain of the boat, um, you got to fop, put, the, put yourself on the fish, help put your non-boater on the fish and then be able to convert those bites into fish in the bag um, and you obviously you're against all the field, um, all the boaters, everyone's real serious, knows what they're doing, um, so yeah it's a definitely a big step. Um, Bem River will definitely have more fish, um, better numbers but the quality might not be there, there'll be a lot of bag fish, just average size, probably like the mid 30s for your better bags. Um, down here will be tougher at Marlow, a lot tougher, but they could be some better bags coming in. Like Marlow's always one of those venues where you've got the chance of a really, really big bag coming off it. Uh, I think Ben River will fish better than Marlow from what the way I fish it anyway. I didn't fish here today, I only fished Ben. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of fish caught there. Um, it's going to be filtering through the small ones to try and get a big bite. Um, I've heard Marlow's fishing tough, so but we'll see there's a bit of a, a wind kicking through um, on Thursday, so it, you know, hopefully it does what it did on the grand final for us. So I think, look, I'm hoping, but I think that Marlow will probably fish better than uh, the Bem. I didn't pre-fish Bem today, but um, uh, look, I just think it was fishing really bad in the grand final, to be brutally honest, from what I've heard from everybody. And I sort of thought, like, how, how it fished today, I'm hoping it fishes similar with a day's rest. So, um, yeah, I, I think Marlow will produce better than Bem. Uh, going on to Day's performance, uh, personally the Bem fished better than, than this place did, but who knows. We uh, give this place a rest tomorrow and back the next day, anything could happen? Um, probably Marlow, I think. Uh, I headed out, uh, first time on the system this morning, headed out and um, found fish reasonably quick. Um, I think I had a bag in about 45 minutes or an hour. Um, I kept on fishing, trying new things, and uh, they didn't sort of work, so I know my tactics for this one. I ducked over to the BEM quickly, only got a quick couple of hours in there, but um, I only managed two fish, so I don't know whether they, they bite early over there. I'm not too sure. I haven't fished the BEM, or I have fished it once, as you know, with yourself, and, um, but we found them stacked up, and they, they definitely weren't there this time. BEM for me, but probably Marlow for locals. Oh, without a doubt, it's going to be the Bem River. Um, we spent the morning pre-fishing there to, today, and we, oh, we we probably caught 15, 20 fish between Dad and I. Um, and then we came and launched here at about one o'clock, um, and we scratched together a couple of fish. But um, yeah, there, there's not really finding the fish on the sounder, um, and getting the bites is pretty tough at Marlow. So. I'd say it's undoubtedly going to be Bem, probably. Yeah, I think most people should walk away with their five fish. Uh, probably not a lot from what I've seen. I didn't catch any in the grand final and I haven't caught any on the pre-fish, so <laughs> it'll be very similar for me. Yeah, it should be. Um, obviously, there's more water. Everything's up about a half a metre or so. Um, the fish are in a different stage, so they might be up the rivers. They, you know, they're not, they're not like they're pre-spawn like they were uh, a couple of months ago. I think there's probably more fish chasing different bait uh, this time of year. Hopefully, if it's anything like it is back home, the prawns are a little bit more about this time of year, so they're looking up higher in the water column, uh, more, you know, chasing uh, more crustacean sort of prawn sort of imitation. So um, that suits me perfectly. That really does. So hopefully, that's the that's the difference. Like I'm sure there'll be a few more people throwing a bit more top water around this time of year, but uh, I caught the fish today the same way we did two months ago. So. Yeah, I haven't noticed too much difference. No. Um, I, I really don't have any idea with Marlow. It, it hasn't changed a bit for me. I got caught one fish in the grand final and I got one fish today, so it's the same. It's still ordinary. Um, I, I think it's really similar, actually. Um, I've, 
the, the fishing back in early December, late November, um, it was sort of that sort of medium, you know, sort of six to eight foot sort of range, and it, it seems to be exactly the same. Um, the water's risen a lot. There's a lot of fresh water sitting on top, and the fish aren't sort of in that first two or three foot. They're sort of sitting down a little bit. So I think it's going to be pretty similar. So it's be good. Out here's a bit different. Um, not quite the same, but still a still difficult in comparison to what it normally would be. Um, the entrance isn't overly strong, which means the tidal flow isn't overly strong either. And it's almost like the fish don't have their usual trigger systems. And I think that's probably one of the big differences as to why this is a bit up and down. But it still has the ability to produce some of the best fish in Victoria.